here in Milwaukee. It's Major League Baseball on a Friday night. It's the San Francisco Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. You're out. Full four. Take your base. Three. And now it's Wilmer Flores. That is it. The first base is Wilmer Flores. Get him down here, huh? Right-hander kicks deals on the ground. Sends it to first, and that is that. Giants leave a couple. Now it's the Brewers' turn. It's a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. Ground ball could be two. To Crawford for one. And that's two. Brewers come up empty in the first. Through an inning in Milwaukee. No score on the show. lineup but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Let her rip right here. Hey, got two here. Flores on its second with two down. To the right side. Tosses to first, out number three. One left for San Francisco, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. Up now for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. Ray, back to work. That one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Goodbye, Pedro! So he goes yard to left. His 64th home run of the season. It's 2-0. His confidence is through the roof with the way he's been swinging it lately. He's on a really good run. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of it three three The dude in his second season just 19 years old and he's a former rookie of the year Swing and a miss. Good no pitch right one there. Strike. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to yeah. give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Oh, and two. In the dirt, blocked, and an excellent job keeping it right there. 
And now the lefty fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And he'll take first easily after the strikeout. The center field, number so he's five. able to reach first base despite the strikeout, and that extends the inning. Kind of a tough turn of events for the defense there. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit of a morale killer for a second. You think you're about to go hit, but really quickly you have to refocus and be ready for the next play. We'll see if they can work around it. First and second, two down. Here's Byron Buxton. All right, let's go. Come on. This is you. This is you. In the air out to center under this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Brewers strand a couple, but they're up three to two. He's already homered here in this one. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. Rip to short. And that'll do it. Brewer strand one. They're still down, 5-3. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own players start hitting up and down the lineup you never know who's going to come up with the big hit who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs but it's a good feeling and you want to extend it Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Giants, seven runs on 12 hits, no errors, they left 11 runners on base. For the Brewers, three runs on 10 hits, no errors, they left 12 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Ball four, take the ball. Jorge Soler up at the plate. No RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. On the ground left side, six, four, three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the end. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop, perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. So two down, Nicholas the Dude up now for the Brewers. This has been a career year for him when it comes to driving in runs. That one is absolutely belted. Yastrzemski raging back towards the wall. Leaps at the wall, but can't hold it in. Goodbye, Cobra. Home run number 60. 
95 on the year. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. Gave it a great effort, but... You know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Three. One gone runner at first. Now it's J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis. All right, one time, right here. All right, the Tiger, kid, you got this. Hey, he hangs it, you bang it, kid. Here you go. The Giants trailing by a run here in the second game of the series. Two, On the two, ground, two ball. The dude fired to second. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Brewers one and the Giants nothing. Now Marco Luciano. The designated hitter. Marco Luciano. Hey, nobody out now. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. Let's roll two. Plays a two. Three and two. Payoff pitch. On the ground a second, might be two. Off balance you know, speed, there's one. Back to first, and that is a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Now bad the left one. On the ground is short, could be two. The flip, there's one. Oh, man, there. Double play of the day. Two ball. Got what he was looking for the man right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Three. Out. Now that second baseman, Nicola. Hard hit, left side. Slings the first. Just got him on that one. The center field, number 25. Byron. Buxton. will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm no action. Two strike. Got him looking. And there's two down. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Good. 
And digging in now for San Francisco, Marco Luciano. Marco Luciano. One out, base is empty. Bounce to the right, the dude. To first, two away. Now bat the second base, Tyro. Is Three! So two on, but two away. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. Go ahead, run at second, and we're at the top of the eighth. Out to short. That's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. They lead it in the eighth. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Takes an inside pitch and just fillets it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get something to the outfield grass to push that run across. Three. No outs, Up runner at first. Down. Marco Luciano getting ready Marco to hit. Luciano. And a pitch. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. Now number seventy-five. Back here in Milwaukee, bottom of the nine. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. The pitch. And he can't come up with it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. That a really good. nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Byron. Byron. Buxton. Buxton. Three. Three. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Giants. Five runs, 15 hits, one error. They left 15 runners on base. For the Brewers, two runs on five hits, one error. They left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. So digging in, Nicholas the Dude. Batting third. The second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. That one felt good. His 66th home run of the season, and the Brewers have the lead. It's 1-0.
That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, Boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. He's the reigning National League Rookie of the Year. Hey, two down here. Hey, get him up there, huh? That oh. one misses. Ball one. Two outs, bases empty. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Wow, one ball, one good strike. luck catching up to that one. to the play. That one ran inside, almost got him. Cut on and missed, struck him out. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. But they blow this one open with a big five-run inning. We play two full. It's the Brewers six and the Giants nothing. One down. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Jorge Soler. Hey, one down now. One down. See it driving. Let's go. Right here. And the righty deals. Two, two, On the ground, a second might be two. To a Thomas, that's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Brewers six and the Giants nothing. Four, four, take your base. Number two, second baseman, Nicholas. There's a swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Late on that fastball. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Hey, get it yourself right here. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Popped up. Crawford in position. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Brewers go down quietly as the lead holds at eight to nothing. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. On the ground, right side, the dude. 
on to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. So the Giants leave one. They trail it big. It's 9-1. Back here at American Family Field. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. Got nobody. Let her in. One time. Bukowskis back to work. Yeah. And a swing and a miss there. Action in the pen down there. Tyler Rogers appears to be getting loose. Whitgren also getting ready. Kicks and deals. In the air out towards right center. Solaire getting an angle on it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. The center, the center fielder, field number, number 25. 25. Byron. Three. say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. Thank mm -hmm. you. 